Hi, I'm Shajma, working as a test lead in Embedding Technologies. Today here, we are going to demonstrate the functional testing of HVAC and the mirror and motor seat motor control unit. Let's start. We have uh, uh, the tools from the requirements to the functional testing family. So the, we can start with uh, uh, our VCU, which is like seat VCU. Where we have uh, the uh, where we have the inputs as uh, uh, two motors. One is horizontal motor. One is uh, the tilt motor as inputs. And we have the two sensors of two heaters where we have the uh, heating control of the driver and the passenger and we have one vent system. And we also have the mirror control in the system. So all this is controlled using this, uh, the setup box where we have the memory switches, the controls of the motors. And when the requirements comes to us, it will be in the format of doors here. So where we will be writing the best cases for each uh, seat moment process or whatever is the requirement. So we will be having each requirement with the each test case weight. So this test case, for example, when we open, so we will be having the test case in this format where we have written the QM of this as server where that requirement is covered in test drive. So all this stimulation happens using the vector tool here, which is connected, which is connected to the system where we are simulating the other ECUs like a GPI, the inputs, the stimulation for the heater mats um, with the resistance or temperature. And we have the BCU where uh, DCM where we have the uh, ignition on our, all the other details of the network are coming. So where we will be we will be stimulating our ECU and checking the outputs on the network. If you see we have the panels here where we will be testing using this panels at the moment. So we will have this memory control and uh, memory 1 recall, memory 2 recall, memory 3 recall and we will be seeing the uh, uh, CAN uh, network analysis here where we will be having the analysis in place where we will be checking on the network how the ACU is behaving. We have the heater mats, driver and passenger. Uh, so we will be controlling this uh, as the outputs for our ECU by sending a CAN signal here, level one and level one. So we are heating up if you see here. So if you touch and see, yeah, this is static heating up. So, so once it reaches desired temperature, it will uh, switch off automatically. So this is how the sitting mat will look. So this is uh, memory uh, switches, M1, M2, and M3. Now I have stored the memory locations, favorite memory locations for all three now. I'll try to recall M3, so which will have effect on the mirror and the two motors. Yeah. So uh, for uh, each requirement, we will be having a test cases which we have written. I will demonstrate a simple uh, test case with the requirement. Like we have a requirement uh, for the end user driver where he will be storing his favorite positions in any one of the memory locations, M1 or M2 
or M3. Uh, maybe if there are more drivers uh, in a home, so maybe three people can store three locations of their favorite position of the seat. Uh, so here I have stored all of these three now for now. So what is the requirement here is, so whenever we have a recall of any one of the memory positions, any manual intervention happens from any of the motors of the seat movement, then this will be all switched off and manual will be taken over. So I will demonstrate you that using the, our setup. So now our setup is communicating on the vector canalizer here. And uh, we am running the simulation setup here and all the networks is running. So memory locations M1, M2, and M3, M1, M2, and M3 are there. So what I will do, I will try to recall the M1 here. And we see this moment happening. And now I will try to switch on the tilt here. So, so the automated process stopped and the manual intervention has taken over and uh, as per the manual intervention the motor is moving now so this is one of the requirement so likewise each requirement will be having a test case where we will be testing all the uh, requirements one to one having the 100 percent traceability of it so, so this is one of the demonstration example which we showed demonstrated here.